Hello everyone and welcome to Dragonwing Diamonds. Um, so I want to start off first off by saying a huge, huge, huge thank you to Laura over at Anxiety Art Adventures. Not only did Laura give me this amazing shout out in her latest video, <laughs> actually when I was listening I was shaking my drill tray and dropped my drills everywhere, <laughs> like I was like so surprised. <laughs> Totally worth it though. And if you want to see the picture of that mess, go ahead over my Instagram. I have a picture there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so thank you so much for that shout out. Also, um, last week, either I think it was either Wednesday or Thursday, Laura also bought me my first coffee. <laughs> so Laura did buy me two coffees. Um, and so I definitely appreciate that. Um, for those who may not know, um, buy me a coffee. There's a little link in the description there. It's kind of a way to give a little extra support to my channel if you would like. Of course, it's not mandatory. Um, it's just, it's, it's an appreciated gesture, that's for sure. Um, and, I, I mean, that just made my week last week when I got my first, my first coffee because that was officially the first funds that my channel has made. So, I was really excited about that. So, thank you so much, Laura, for both of those amazing things. Um, it was so great watching my s subscribers just jump almost, like, more than doubled overnight, like, it, um, oh, so everybody who came over, thank you so much for showing me the support, I'm so glad to have you here, and I hope you guys enjoy my videos. So, what we are working on today is Once Upon a December by Mandy Manzano. Um, I will be entering this into the Magical Mandy 2021, which is actually hosted by Anxiety Art Adventures. Um, as you can see, I skipped over this little section here because, you know, all these were just like a lot of massive color blocking with these dark blues. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of color in the crown. Like, oh. I, I love the way they did this, honestly, because just look at it. Like, if you, rem if you've seen the movies, you remember the crown. If you haven't seen the movies, so basically this crown here, the way they portrayed it, it was just this big, glimmery, glittery bright crown like every move she made they had the light the the light source to shine across it and it was just, it was amazing so I'm really excited that they did this all in these white ABs so that's gonna look really cool and it's gonna really pop okay so let's get started so I hope everybody's weeks have been going good mine has been exceptionally amazing um, but I will, eh, but no, I'll start in with that now, and then we'll get to the, the stories from the week, because I have a couple pretty funny ones from the boys. So, yesterday I got an email from the college that I applied to. Um, for those who don't, who may not have seen my um, previous whip and chats, I made the decision to go back to school. Um, it was... Like, I had a couple of series of events, um, my, my job was causing me so much anxiety that I ended up having, like, I ended up quitting, because I just, I couldn't handle it anymore. And, like, you shouldn't wake up in the morning and, like, instantly be in tears because you have to go into work. So, um, so yeah, I unexpectedly quit my job and was looking for something new in a field that I actually want to do. And I was struggling to find something so... And, like, I've been talking about going back to school for so long, like, m for years, like, ever since I actually got out of school the first time. Um, so, like, ooh. Oh, that did fall in there. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you can never tell where the drill falls. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've been talking about it for so long. I've jumped around different majors, like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this. And, like, it just nothing has, well, A, nothing's worked out, and B, nothing has just jumped out at me as something that I actually wanted to pursue. Until now. <laughs> so, all my life, I have loved writing. Like, I love creating, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> as I'm diamond painting. Um, but I love creating things. I'm a very creative person. Like m my friends and I, when we were younger, we used to have like journals. We passed back and forth between classes with role plays in them and stuff like that. Like I just, I love to write and I love to create worlds. And 
use my imagination because that's what it's there for. And I don't ever want my imagination to go away because honestly, I, I, I just, um, I love the fact that I can enter a completely different world in my mind sometimes. So yeah, this, that was definitely like the, the career field I would like to go into. So started looking for jobs in that field and everybody is want like requests requiring a bachelor's or equal um experience yada yada you know you know how it goes when you're job hunting everybody wants like the best of the best um so i was struggling to find a job and finally after like two months of not getting anywhere i looked at my boyfriend i'm like i really just want to go back to school like i feel like that'll make things so much easier I feel like that, I mean, it it will refresh my mind, get me into a different mindset. And he said, well, go for it. And I was like, seriously? And he's like, yeah. And and the more I thought about it, the more it made sense. Because, like, here I am, hemming and hawing, trying to find a full-time position when I can just get a part-time position, and then from there I can move in like I can go back to school and pursue what I want so I got the part-time position lined up I'm going back to work at one of my previous employers which they are super excited to have me back Um, I will hopefully be starting back with them in August sometime and then um, I applied to my college that I wanted to go to the college actually my boyfriend's mom works at as an English teacher so Yesterday, I got an email saying that there was an important update on my the status of my application. So I go, I log in, I click on the links, like, oh, click here to view your application status. And right there was the amazing letter saying that I was accepted to the college for my degree program. <laughs> Guys, seriously, <clears throat> I cried. <laughs> I was so happy. I just started crying because I am used to trying to pursue things and finding roadblocks the entire way. Like one thing or another doesn't work out. And honestly, right now, everything's working. <laughs> like I got approved for the part-time job. I got approved for college. So today I have to go in and get my email all set up and stuff like that. But I, I'm just like so overjoyed. So like, I'm I just <laughs> everything's going good. Like I, I, I'm still amazed and shocked. Like I started this YouTube channel, not sure where it was gonna go, and it's starting to pick up a bit. And now I get to go to the college that I actually had picked out a long time ago. Like I w- was gonna do a two plus two program, so go to a community college and then go to the four year college. And the college that I applied to is the one that I have always wanted to go to. So this is like really exciting. Like, look at that 18 year old me. I'm doing it. I'm doing the dream a little later than anticipated, but I'm doing it. So that was some really exciting news. Um, So I am just so, uh, I just, I still can't, I'm, I still think it's a dream. Like, I feel like I'm going to wake up at some point and all this is going to, like, not have happened. I'd still be at my old crappy job. Like, that's what I feel like. But, no. I, I know it's not going to happen. So, I called my mom last night to tell her and she was really excited for me, too. And she said she was proud of me and all this, like, all the supportive mom stuff. And, yeah. So, yeah, here we are. Oh, and just so you guys are aware, um, my boyfriend is currently working behind me, so if you hear that tappy tap, that's just his keyboard. (laughs) Okay, so now we can jump into some fun stories from last week. Um, So we have had so many rainy days, like, it's been insane, like, ridiculous. So, like, we, and, like, we just got our pool put up. Like, the boys have been able to use the pool once. Well, not twice, since we got it put up. But, like, it's just been raining so much, and it's been so gloomy here. I don't, I don't know. It's just kind of ruining my summer. 
but we got one day last week that was super nice. I think it was like Thursday. And um, so we got to go swimming and we got, we invited the neighbor girls over to go swimming, which apparently the oldest had only been in a pool like that twice and the youngest had never been in a pool like ours. So that was exciting for them. And the youngest, oh my gosh, she was so cute. She would, because at first she was very nervous. Like we got her a bunch of floaties and stuff, so she would stay upright. But she got, she was a little nervous in the water, which understandable because she couldn't stand up in it. And then she would just start, like, she would move around and then, like, lose her balance a little bit and then splash around and get some water. And then she'd cough and then she'd just do, I'm okay, in this cute little tiny voice. And I'm like, oh my goodness, kid, you're adorable. Like, I can't even help, I can't help it. <laughs> So that was a lot of fun. But the real funny part was when we were getting out of the pool. Now I have two tattoos. I have one on my shoulder of a rose and one down the back of my leg. Um, it's actually a sword from World of Warcraft um, along with the Death Knight logo in the middle of it. I absolutely love my tattoos. So, <laughs> And um, so I had spent the entire time standing up in the pool mostly because I was just there for any of the kids to grab onto if they suddenly lost their balance because Drakey, he's too small to stand up. I know Maple was too small to stand up. Lily and Alex can stand up, but just in case they needed the extra hand, you know, me and my boyfriend were in the pool with them. And so we're getting out of the pool and Drake goes, oh, it's a good thing you didn't get your ro the flower on your back wet. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I had to explain to my five-year-old that tattoos don't wash off in water. <laughs> well, at least this tat these tattoos don't wash off in water. <laughs> it was just such a funny thing that, like, he says the funniest things. Like, I, <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> so, yeah, I had to explain to him how my tattoos work and how they're not, like, the, you know, peel on the tattoos that you get in cereal boxes or what have you. <laughs> Good thing your flower, or your flower didn't get wet. And then, like, I also use the argument, you know, my sword got wet. And he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then after that, we came back inside. I don't remember. Uh, I feel like maybe my boyfriend went, had to go grocery shopping or something. I can't remember. But, um, Alex, he does this, like, thing where he's, like, and he, like, rolls his R's. And Drake was trying to roll his R's. <laughs> he just kept going, Rrr. <laughs> And, like, I was trying to help him, but, like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to describe to a kid how to, like, do the motion with your tongue. Like, I, I don't, I, like, I can't describe that. I just know how to do it. <laughs> But then I also had to explain to him, like, not everybody can do it. Because, like, I thought back to my Spanish class back in the day when, like, they'd be like, oh, well, some of these, some of these R's, you want to roll them because that's what they do in their language. And, like, there's some people in my class who couldn't do it. You know, always a bizarre thing, though, being someone who can do it because it's like, oh, that's actually something that you can't? Okay, that, that's interesting. But, yeah. Let go. Only one at a time with my single placer, please. <laughs> so that was Thursday. And then on Friday. So uh, we have 7-Eleven up by us. And for the entire month of July, they were doing free Slurpees. And so we had coupons for four of them so we ran out and got our free slurpees i got a pineapple whip one um i think my boyfriend got blue raspberry drake got a blueberry lemonade one and then alex got a strange combination like he got blue raspberry coke and cherry and i i don't know i just I, I just, like, watched him pouring those in, and I'm like, no. <laughs> when we were, like, picking out the, or picking out our flavors and stuff like that, I was reading them off to Drake. 
And I skipped over the Mountain Dew one because, honestly, nobody wants to give a five-year-old Mountain Dew level caffeine. Like, no, thank you. And so, like, I skipped over that one. And, of course, that's the one he pointed to. And I'm like, no, you can't have that. There's too much caffeine in it. So that's how I ended up with the blueberry lemonade because he loves lemonade. So it worked out. It was probably, like, the only flavor, though, that he actually would have eaten there. Drake is my picky eater. Like, legit, I can count on one hand the foods that he eats, and quite literally, it's pizza and hot dogs and spaghetti. <laughs> like, not a single vegetable in there. It's, like, impossible. Like, if we try to get him to eat vegetables, he is, like, pretty. I'm pretty sure it's, like, a 98% chance he's going to bed early because he will just sit there and cry over it instead of actually just eating it and swallowing it and getting it over with. Like, he will just sit there... And chew, and chew, and chew, and chew, and just keep chewing. It's like, dude, the more you chew it, the more you're going to taste it. Just swallow. So, yeah. So, we're, we're glad that we were able to find a good flavor that he would enjoy. Uh, and the pineapple whip one was really good. It almost tasted like the, um, the pineapple things you get at Disney. Like, I... Maybe they are called pineapple whips in Disney as well, but it tasted exactly the same. So that was pretty awesome. So if you're not near Disney like me, you got a good alternative with a 7-Eleven. And then, oh my gosh, Friday was the day that Diamond Art Club made me, made me contemplate breaking my no-buy. <laughs> I think we've all been there, though. Like, they release these amazing images, and you're just like, oh... I, I, I kind of need that. Like, I've been good. I have been good for two weeks. <laughs> like, <laughs> I behaved myself. And so they came out with that exclusive Mandy Manzano work. That Wishing for You Aladdin themed one. Yeah. Just bear with me a second here, guys. Just trying to... This wax does not want to come out of my pen. That's good enough. Um... So, yeah. There we go. Seriously, I need either Petty Wax or I need August 6th to come so I can try for some Wee Wax just so I can get away from using this pink wax. That's not been working very well for me the last couple weeks. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so... That exclusive piece that Mandy Manzano did specifically for Diamond Art Club. And, like, I'm sitting here, I'm staring at it. And I'm just, like, I, I swear, every time my boyfriend looked over at me, I probably had the image pulled up on my phone just staring longingly at it. <laughs> and so eventually he was like, you know what, you've been good. You haven't bought in like two weeks go ahead and get it and I'm like are you sure and he's like yes I'm sure I'm like okay <laughs> he's such an enabler I swear um so yeah I have that on the way I'll probably unbox it as soon as I get it because I am super excited and when I unbox my once upon a December here oh sorry this is like still spilling out okay there we go yeah when I unbox my once upon a December here I figured out how to get the drills back in perfectly. <laughs> that's a that's definitely a feat in itself. So yeah, I will definitely be doing an unboxing for that when I get it because I am just super excited about it. Like I fell in like I fell in love with the image originally, and then I watched Miss Coffee unbox it, and I really need to stop watching people unbox these because oh my gosh, like made me want to cave on Clockwork Dragonling, made me want to cave on, well, it did make me cave on the Wishing for You. I actually didn't see Warm Witch unboxed yet, but I know my my friend Stealthy Crafter, she uh, she has that one. I've been telling her to unbox it because I kind of want to see. <laughs> um, but yeah. And so, yeah. But yeah, seriously, Diamond Art Club needs to stop with these beautiful images. Like, every week I'm sitting here like, I need this one. And I, I just, it's killing me right now. 
but I am excited. Um, I am just 100 points away from a $50 off gift card or gift from Diamond Art Club with for, with my rewards points. So once I get that, I'm kind of torn right now. It like I. I feel like I know which way I'm going to go because I still have the 20% that they're offering for per first time purchase through the app itself. So I might use that with the other one, but I'm kind of debating between using my $50, um, $50 off on either Clockwork Dragonling or Double Double Chocolate Trouble, the cute, adorable little Randall Spangler dragon one. It really depends on drills and chills because I'm because if my Luna Love Good doesn't work for drills and chills, then I will probably go with the double double chocolate trouble instead. So it, it's kind of like it's a hard decision right now because I want them both so bad and I don't have any of the Randall Spangler draglings yet. And I really want one of them because they're just absolutely adorable. And I'm guessing it's probably no secret that I love dragons. <laughs> just, just, just a little bit, maybe. It's only in my name, right? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of dragons. So I'm sure you guys have noticed, well, those have been around for a bit, have noticed. Or, I mean, if, even if you've gone back and looked at my older videos, you'll see that my videos have gotten a nice little upgrade. Um, so my boyfriend's parents had a copy of Photoshop and Premiere Elements for like this year's version of them, the 2021 version. And so we snagged those from them earlier this week. Actually, we did it the other day or it was what? No, we did it on Sunday because that was the day we went shopping and that was the day I got my call out and I was watching all my subscribers jump up. I'm like, oh, well. And so my boyfriend's like, okay, well, it's time for some better editing software now because, you know, I'm starting to get more eyes on my videos. Um, so, and plus he's been wanting to get that for a while. And if his parents didn't have it, he was just going to buy a new copy. <laughs> so we got that. And so I was working on my time lapse there for Little Rainbow Dragons in my post review. And I was working on the time lapse at the time. And he goes, okay, let me know when you're done. I need you to come look at this. And I'm like, okay, I will. And so I finished up. I think it was probably like another 10 minutes and I had it done. And so I got, I went over and I looked at it and he showed me the dragon wings that he, that were on my, that are on my, my title card now. And I was like, oh, wow. And I'm like, wait, is that a stock image? Cause I was like, oh, hopefully I can use that. And he goes, no, I, I did that with the draw tool on Photoshop. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Literally, he went in, looked up a picture and, for a reference, and created those dragon wings for me. Because I, like, I told him like that was my idea. I wanted to have like dragon wings with my dragon wing diamonds spread out through the center for my logo. And he made it happen with just a, a, a simple tool. <laughs> so yeah. I was super excited about that and then also with the new software we had a lot more updates to editing because let me just vent for a second here windows used to have an amazing video editor like back when i was younger me and my friends every year for christmas we would take a whole bunch of pictures of us together and we would like compile them in like a video with um with music put to it and, like, we do, like, a section for each of our friends. So, like, oh, this section is for Cassie. This section is for who we now refer to as she who must not be named because we don't, we're not very close with her anymore. <laughs> uh, but, like, we do, like, sections for each of us. And then, like, the final section would be, like, pictures of all of us together. And so um, we used to do that every year. And I do that in Windows Movie Maker. And they just had so many options, so many different things you could do in it. Yeah, well, not the video editor these days. Like, the video editor on Windows itself doesn't even have a fade out option. Like, how can you have a video editor but not let people fade out in between clips? Like, that makes no sense to me. 
So I was frustrated with that. And I'm sure, I know he was frustrated with that too. So um, we got Premiere. It had to go on his computer because both my desktop and my laptop don't have disk drives on them. Because, <laughs> you know, who needs a disk drive anymore when everything's digital, right? <laughs> so everything went up on his computer. So now he's like... So he was, he was saying me up the other day, I was like, he was like, okay, so now I can, I can do editing on your videos if you'd like. And so you just, you film them and then I will take care of the editing process on them. I'm like, oh, are you sure you want to take that on? And he's like, yeah, definitely. And then so far the last couple of nights, it's just been back to back. Cause it's like, okay, well, here's this unboxing you can play with. Okay. Here's my, my time lapse and my post review. <laughs> oh yeah. And tomorrow I'm filming my whip and chat. <laughs> But yeah, he loves video editing, so he is just in his element, and he does a great job with it, I think, so I, um, I hope you guys agree, too. So yeah, boyfriend is now official video editor for Dragon Wing Diamonds. <laughs> but I'm very, I'm very pleased with it, so, and I'm not as good at the editing thing, and he's awesome at it, so have at it, my dear. Okay, I feel like I tangent off. Okay, so... I don't know why I'm getting so stuffy. Oh no. Um, so on Saturday, my we were supposed to go to a birthday party for my friend's daughter. She just turned five. And, you know, they had like a bunch of stuff planned for her party and stuff like that. But then, you know, cars got ruined by the rain. Um, but that's not why we ended up not going. The reason why we ended up not going is because Alex got was not was very stuffy that morning and we're like okay well this could either be your allergies or you might actually have a cold he said that there was a kid that he was playing with at his mom's house that had a cold so i mean we wouldn't have been surprised either way yeah it's not allergies <laughs> he um this color makes sense not a lot of it um, so we gave him his allergy medicine to see if that would help the congestion and stuff like that. And it didn't. So I was like, oh, great. He's sick, which means I'm probably going to get sick, which is why I just said, oh, great. I'm getting stuffy. <laughs> Hopefully that's just because we have the air off right now and it's just stuffy in here. Fingers crossed. Um, I've been trying everything not to get sick, but honestly, every cold these boys get, I, I end up catching like... Kids are gross. They got germs. I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah. So. So like we discovered that he had that cold on Saturday. And then, you know, Saturday night after we did our bedtime stuff, me and my boyfriend stripped the bed, <clears throat> replaced the sheets and everything, and then we told Alex like you I'm sorry to tell you this, but you can't be up on our bed at all tomorrow because it's all clean and I really don't want to catch your cold. So he listened to that pretty good. He stayed off the bed and hopefully will make me avoid catching it. Um But yeah, so it ended up being a gloomy rainy day. Alex wasn't feeling the best, so we kind of just, like, had a very, 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 very relaxing day inside. So, um, my boyfriend started a Minecraft world with the boys, and so they were doing that, and I was diamond painting, of course, because, you know, I, I love diamond painting. <laughs> and I'm not big on Minecraft yet. Like, I haven't played enough to, like, try it. Maybe I'll give it another try at some point, but... I was just letting them do their, like, I was letting them have their time together, because it's not very often that my boyfriend gets to play games with both boys, because, um, Alex, of course, he, he plays more games than Drake does, and, like, more competitive games and stuff like that, and, and Drake's starting to get a little bit better, but, you know, he, he's got a bit yet, I mean, he's, he's only five, so he's got a bit yet before he's probably gonna be, like, into gaming as much as Alex is. Although I am realizing lately that it is harder to get him to put his switch down. We played a board game sometime last week, I think it was. And 
we we told the boys like okay switch us down and come on over and drake's like no i'm in a match and we're like nah no family time is more important than a Fortnite match and so we made him put a switch down and come and play with us <laughs> what game did we even play i can't remember yeah i can't remember what game we played oh uno that's what it was Drake won one, and Alex won the other. We played two matches. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's do some of this, AB. Oops, that's a lot. I need a bigger tray. <laughs> I've been working with this tiny tray. Unfortunately, it's like the biggest one I have. <laughs> Fingers crossed I can grab myself a, a Muni made tray this week. Of course, I'll be posting this on the day that her tray drops, so. Let's see, what else do we got here? <laughs> oh yeah, so. There was one day where, I, th I think it was Saturday or Sunday, one of those two. Boys were downstairs playing their switches and my boyfriend was outside because he was uh, this was Sunday because it had to be because it was a sunny day um, my boyfriend was outside scrubbing his grill because um, we uh, the grill needed to be clean so oh I just said his grill our grill oh my goodness I've been living here for almost like close to a year now <laughs> I don't know where that came from um, anyways so Boyfriend was outside cleaning the grill, and I was inside, like, I was up here, um, doing, no, that's, I was diamond painting, because that's, that's what I always do nowadays, is just diamond paint, um, so, I'm sitting up here, and all of a sudden I just hear Drake yelling, I'm like, oh, great, what's going on now? What are they fighting over now? So I go downstairs, and I look at Drake, and he's standing there, and Alex is sitting on the couch in front of him, and I, I go, Drake, why are you yelling? He goes, because I'm mad at him. <laughs> like, well, like, what's going on here? And then, like, I'm noticing, so, where, like, where the boys sit on the couch, we have, like, one of those, like, square docks that you can plug in a bunch of USB ports to. And, um, so that way you can have multiple things plugged in at once. So, right now the way we have it set up is we have two cords set up for the boys switches and um and so one of them's longer than the other and what tends to happen is one of the boys will grab one of the cords whether it's the long one or the short one and they'll just sit right next to the the table there and then the other one will grab the other one and then they start fighting over who gets to sit in that spot and so, like, we keep telling them, like, okay, whoever has the white cord, because it's shorter, needs to sit next to the table. Whoever has the gray cord has to sit a seat over from there. And so, when I went down there, Alex had the long cord plugged into his switch, and he was sitting right next to the table, and Drake had the short cord, and he's standing there, and he's yelling at his brother. And so, I told Alex to scoot over, because he had the longer cord, and then let Drake sit in that spot crisis averted <laughs> it's just it's ridiculous these kids are so crazy sometimes yep and then this week was pretty normal we dropped them off to their mom on sunday and then it sounds like this week they're going up to the thousand islands because their grandparents have a cottage up there so they're going to be spending the week there which sounds a nice little trip for them thousand islands are beautiful like guys if you ever come to New York and go that far upstate, definitely check out Thousand Islands. Like, it is an amazing place to see. And yes, there are actually a thousand islands there. If you go on Uncle Sam's boat tours, they tell you all about it. <laughs> I've done that a few times. But I love going there, seeing Bolt Castle, seeing Singer Castle. My grandfather, oh my gosh. My grandfather was so funny with Singer Castle. He got so excited when we went. Like, uh, it was great. <laughs> And so, so yeah, they're doing that this week. And then after we drop them off, 
my boyfriend and I ran to Kohl's because his his work got, gave him a he basically it was kind of like an incentive for vaccinated people um his work was like okay if you send me your if you send me your vaccination card because they need to prove a vaccination to know who could go unmasked in the office um but yeah there's like okay send me your vaccination card and you'll be en- or we'll give you a 50 dollar gift card and then you'll be entered to win a thousand dollars um, unfortunately we didn't get the thousand dollars, but we got the $50 gift card and the way they did it was like, you get to go onto this website and choose which store you want the gift card for. So my boyfriend chose Kohl's because he knew I needed shorts and I needed PJs that, cause it's like, I only have like, well at the time I only had, yeah, let go three pairs of PJ shorts, but one of those pairs I've had literally since I was a kid and they were literally falling apart. Pick up. Thank you. So, um, so yeah, I was in desperate need of new PJ shorts and actual shorts. Um, unfortunately, right now the pickings for shorts are very slim since we are in the middle of the season and everybody's getting ready for back to school already so I wasn't able to find any like actual shorts but I found a good handful of PJ shorts actually I found a good handful of PJs period (laughs) there was this pair of pants I picked up and oh my gosh you guys so soft like I touched them I'm like oh no these aren't going back on the (laughs) shelf these are not going back on the rack these are coming home with me and then of course like when we were cashing out the cashier's like wow these are really soft I'm like yep that's why they're here I'm coming home but I got myself like this really cool purple set um of shorts and a tank top I got a baby Yoda (laughs) Baby Yoda shorts with a t-shirt, and then um, they also had a Friends one, which for those who may not know, I absolutely love Friends. It is one of my favorite shows, and it's definitely my favorite like background noise show because I have watched through it so many times. I can probably quote every single episode, honestly, at this point. So they had a cool Friends pair as well that was the same as the Baby Yoda ones, and I was like, ooh, I want these as well. So, I ended up coming home with quite a bit, and then we had to get a new pair of swim trunks for Alex, because he won't stop growing. (laughs) Like, legit, I feel like we just bought him new clothes, and he's already outgrowing them. It's insane. Like, when people say kids grow up fast, they weren't kidding at all. At all. And I'm just, like, dreading the day that Drake does it. But at least, like, with Drake, it'll be a little bit easier because every, like, all the clothing that Alex is outgrowing, he Drake will be able to use eventually. So it's easier on him. But we also try to make sure that, like, we don't just give Drake all hand-me-downs. So, like, what we've been trying to do lately is when we go in... Like, when we go shopping for Alex, we get Drake, like, at least a t-shirt or something, you know, or a pair of shorts or, you know, something different that's not just, that didn't just come from Alex. And then, of course, PJs, like, Drake gets all new PJs all the time. Actually, recently found these really cute shark ones. Drake loves sharks. Um, so, I found these really cute shark ones. It's got, like, a, a shark an image of a great white shark on the the shirt and then the pants are just like great white sharks all over him so he looks super cute and that came into that came in with a pair with um was it t-rex pant t-rex too so t-rex on the shirt and then a bunch of t-rexes on the pants so yeah that was my sunday And yeah, I just, this week's been pretty quiet, um, cause the, the boys are of course not with us, so things are a little crazier with the boys. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm just super excited for this week cause like, 
now, like later today, once I'm done here, I can go and get myself all set up on my colleges, like with the email and stuff like that. And then they said that my advisor would be reaching out to me. And then I'm going to have to talk to the advisor just to like figure things out because, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm a transfer. I, I have a bunch of credits from before, but I'm also haven't been in school in like 10 years. So I'm like, I'm going to have to figure out figure things out and then apply for the scholarship because New York State does offer free tuition. They call it a scholarship apparently, but it's really just free tuition. So I got to get that submitted. All the real work is beginning now. And then I got to figure out my classes, get all registered and ready to go for the fall. It's just so funny. Like the, the boys are having a really hard time understanding why I'm choosing to go back to school because <laughs> Alex doesn't like school right now. So he just like, he just looked at me so funny when I said, I'm excited for school again. And I tried, like, I tried telling him like, dude, trust me, when, once you're out in the working world, you're going to miss school too. I can guarantee it. But yeah, life is going to get hectic for a while here, but I'm, I'm excited for it. Like I got this, I can work part time and do a full-time job and I'll say I parent part-time right now just because the boys aren't here with us every week and then my YouTube here I promise I won't forget about you guys in the mess because honestly I I love this this channel I, I love being able just to sit here and talk and do my work and you know meet new people like so far I I've met Laura and I've met Stealthy Crafter and honestly I'm like and then um oh my god and like someone on my Instagram too dot, dots and drills something like that I only see the first part of her name all the time but she's always like dots and diamonds maybe um yeah she's always commenting on my posts and stuff like that and I just love her feedback as well and uh, I just I'm, I'm loving the people I'm meeting in this community so far and I'm just, I'm excited to meet more of you. Okay, and we got another gloomy day here today. So we're, okay. We're about at a good stopping point. I only did two colors. <laughs> I'm proud of myself on this one because I actually measured when I sectioned off and got pretty equal increments here so I actually did something different this time around <laughs> before I was just kind of slapping washi tape on and hoping for the best but I realized that um, well, mostly on the little rainbow dragons like literally I had so like these gigunda sections and then these little itty bitty ones I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna have to be more careful with that next time so I was and I will say measuring definitely helped out, so let that one go. Must not have picked up. <laughs> Don't you just love when drills just vanish on you? I was like, oh, there it is. Yeah, I found it. Yeah, and Little Rainbow Dragons, there was a couple times where I would pick off a drill with a crater in it, and then the tweezer just sent him flying somewhere, and I'd just be staring off to the side, and my boyfriend would be like, what you doing? I'm like, I lost a drill. <laughs> He's like, that's okay. We'll find it later. We like to play the game. Is that cat litter or is it a, a drill? <laughs> it's about 50-50 most of the time too. Um, so yeah. Well, I was glad I was able to at least work on the AB so you can see that pretty sparkle and shine. Uh, I love ABs. Oh my gosh. I love... At first, you know, I was kind of disappointed that there was only the one AB in this kit, but so far, just seeing where they did the placement of it, so, like, the, the nice, eat like, on the sleeve here and the crown, like, I know it's in a lot of her jewelry down here, too. Oh, it's in her eyes, too. Like, I'm, I'm just very pleased overall, and I'm excited. I, like, I'll be doing a post review on every one of these that I do. I know probably there are thousands of post reviews out with the, these kits I'm doing, but every opinion is different, right? So I'll make sure that I continue to do that. Um, 
So yeah, later this week we'll. Okay, I thought a piece of my nail polish just came off. Um. So yeah. Later this week, you will be seeing another unboxing from me. Um, I should be receiving it on Thursday, so keep her out either Thursday or Friday-ish for that. Um, with that brand new exclusive Mandy Manzano piece, so you can see the beauty and the glory of it if you haven't seen it on Miss Coffee's channel, of course. Um, and yeah, I will continue to post regular updates on my Instagram of how this piece is doing. And yeah, so then we can pick up again next week. Um, you should see this one again next week because it's a little bit bigger than the little rainbow dragon, so I won't get it done within like the time frame of one whip and chat. <laughs> oh, kitty fur. Always kitty fur everywhere. <laughs> so, with that being said, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. Throw me a like, throw me a comment. I love hearing from you guys, especially now that there's a whole bunch of new people on my channel. I would love to hear from you guys. Get your idea, like, what you think. Any room for, like, where I can improve and stuff like that. Like, what, what have you. Like, I'm, I'm all ears. And I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, it was one of those days, I swear. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for joining me today for our Whip and Chat Wednesday. I'm still trying to think of a clever name for that, so if anybody can think of a really good name, let me know. Like, I'm trying to think of something that hasn't been done, because I know Rachel Ray does Whip, Whip and Chat Wednesdays as well, so I'm trying not to, like, I don't want to copy, like, what she has already. So, I'm trying to think of something, something catchy with it. Um, but yeah. Like I said, make sure you do all the things, and then, once again, I'm just going to, I'm going to continue saying it. Laura, I know you're going to get tired of hearing about, hearing it, but thank you again so much for all of the support you've been showing me so far. It just, it makes me feel so good that I have such a great support in this community, and um, I just, I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate it. <sighs> I'm just, I've been so happy this week, guys. Just big smile. Like, I haven't stopped smiling in a day <laughs> ever since I got that email from my college. <laughs> like, I haven't stopped smiling. <laughs> but anyways, I will stop talking your ear off now, and I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!